Hey guys, Daniel Mock here. Today I want to show you the shoulder rig setup I had for this past football season. I want to run through my shoulder rig setup I had for the 2020 football season. This is a C500 Mark II cinema camera, but really you can use any Canon cinema camera. And with that is a 7200 servo zoom lens. And that really just is an ultimate game changer. But let me walk you through this rig. So I've got the small rig shoulder rig. I'll put a link in the description below, but I think the description says Sony on Amazon, but it actually can work with any camera. And then with that, I got the left hand uh, handle. And then with the cinema servo, the lens gear, I put that right here where my right hand goes. And it's amazing because I can use now this as a zoom function. Um, instead, before I was using uh, just a regular telephoto 7200 and I had a lens shifter, which I would use manually and then try to whip pan as the ball was going in action, which um, didn't always look the best. So this was amazing to be able to be zoomed in at the line of scrimmage. And when Russ would pass the ball, I could then zoom out and follow it um, with my eyes, just with much more ease than using my hand on there. And so this is just a really great game changer. I'll put the links in the description below. And like I said, you can use any Canon cinema camera that works with this 7200 um, EF mount. One thing I should probably add is eyepiece. I have re rented a Zakuto Z Finder before, which makes it easier because I do get a little bit of neck pain from there, but steady progress. The only drawback really with the C500 is kind of the workflow. If you're trying to send clips out in real time as the game's going on, it does take a CFast Express card. And so those you actually have to plug into your computer. I would go through an Adobe Media Encoder, export it real quick, and then send that off via Slack or whatever service uh, the sport you're covering uses. So that was a little bit of a drawback because um, before I would have a C200, pop the SD card out, and then just send that out via Slack on my phone, uh, which is really great from a speed standpoint, but I'm just getting a lot beefier image in the codec as far as this, uh, which for me, the image quality is, is everything. So uh, I love being able to do that. One workaround I, I did use because most of what I was sending in the NFL season was for just digital social. So this camera's pretty great because it has the CFast Express, and then just a little SD that I would record proxies to. So um, unfortunately the phone doesn't read uh, the proxy clips, but to keep those files smaller when you're sending it back um, to the team or to the league, I just use those proxy clips to edit quickly and trim them down in Adobe Media Encoder and send those back. And those worked more than fine in what was going on social. And I've used a number of setups over the years to shoot on the field. I used a hi-hat a couple seasons before, which is great because you get that low angle. My knees were kind of destroyed after the season, so I like being able to have this angle, but I could still get down on one knee. I was in the stands this year, but hopefully we can get back out there and I can try and see how this setup works. So I'll put the link in the description below. I watched through a bunch of different videos to try and figure out the best rig to put together. So I hope this is helpful for you for if you're shooting football or really any sport where you're sending clips out in real time, you need to get a, a quick turnaround, but make sure uh, you keep your, your body healthy and keep everything steady, stable, and efficient.